Kyra Lynn and I went to Compass Music Camp in 2012 and 2013. So I was there the inaugural year when it all started. I now work in Nashville, Tennessee, writing full time for other artists. And um, Compass Music Camp was such a huge part of my journey as a young musician. And it was actually one of my first times co-writing. Um, and now I get to do that full time. Hi everyone, I'm Jarrett Wacker. I was at Compass Music Camp the first two years they were open, and then I taught there once the next year. I'm up in Kansas City working as a live sound engineer. Got a bachelor's degree in music technology, playing bass on some albums recently, uh, one with a former Compass student as well. My name is Lizzie Weiland. I'm a musician living in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm also an original Compass Music camper. I was there the first two years of camp. I was like 14. And then I returned eventually as a guitar lesson instructor and a band coach. My name is Smith. I attended Compass, I think it was 2019. My name is Emery Wakefield and I attended Compass Music Camp in 2018 and 2019. My name is Logan Garner. I attended Compass Music Camp in the summer of 2018, as well as volunteered in the summer of 2019. I'm currently at Drury University in Springfield as a music therapy major, and I just got out of jazz band, so that's why my drum set is right here. I intend to be a contract music therapist, as well as try to gig on the weekends for playing drum set. Hey, my name is Arlo Rodeman. I have attended Compass Music Camp since the summer of 2016, I believe. I've been playing drum set for almost eight years now and I occasionally pick up the guitar too. I would love to pursue music as a full-time career in the future. I look back and remember camp being so fun and getting to meet all these other young talented musicians and I actually was homeschooled at the time so I didn't get to meet a lot of other kids my age doing music and so it was a great time for us all to come together and just get to meet people that all want to do the same thing as you. Um, Compass was definitely a turning point in my life. It was the first time that I was able to play music with kids my age, which was really awesome. It was my first time, I think, experiencing a room full of adults who were actually musicians. Like That was their career path, and it was so cool. It was an incredible experience for me. Um, it was probably my first time being on a actual stage. I get really anxious really quickly. So like having to go up there and do that, but still being around people who I knew would support me and you know, like they're not gonna get mad at me if I mess up. They're just gonna be there for me. Um, really helped my it was really, really cool to learn about how genres mix together and how they combine and they power through to make one new genre. And probably the coolest one that I thought was learning about how all the jazz drummers were the ones who started playing for the soul genre in Motown. And it being able to know that allowed me to be able to just really understand how the drummers of Motown and rock and all these and where their motivations were coming from because it was coming from other genres and that really 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 helped me as a overall player as to know what kind of grooves to play and what kind of fills to play based off of the genres. I really don't think I would be anywhere near as comfortable with performing in front of others or with others if it weren't for Compass. It also showed me a lot about the history of music and the process of music production that I had never really thought about before. It was a really positive and eye-opening experience for me. There are different classes like songwriting, um, music theory, and music history. That all helped me learn about the industry more and then also further my journey as a musician altogether. Um, I also took voice lessons from Violet for a long time and her and Phil Sean have just always been doing so much for the community and this music center is no exception. It seems like such a great opportunity for young musicians in Columbia to keep getting um, opportunities and training and just all the tools they need to succeed out there in the real world. And I can attest, it really is a great prep for getting out there. The Compass Music Center will not only benefit the camp programs, but also a multitude of other programs that Compass is working on right now. One thing I'm really stoked about is uh, they want to provide lessons to students who are low income, 
um, maybe otherwise wouldn't have access to a teacher or an instrument or lessons. I know for me personally, music lessons were life-changing, so I think it's such a cool program to provide. Now I'm in the process of recording my first studio album, um, working a lot on that, and I thought while recording, I thought who better to ask to play bass than Jarrett Wacker from Compass Music Camp. That's where we met. Um, so it was really cool to have a reunion, and it was awesome. I thought that, you know, like inside jokes we had when we were 14, we still have them. Like we made those jokes at Compass, they're still here. An incredible sense of community and being together, you know? Like you can tell that just like everybody there wants what's best for you as a musician. They want you to grow and learn. And being around a bunch of people who have um, similar but different goals and viewpoints as you is a really interesting experience. Uh, I think Compass Music Center would help the camp program by providing people with a permanent year-round space to be able to practice, record, and learn about music. It would allow the camp program to potentially branch out if people wanted to. The possibilities are pretty much endless. If I could describe Compass Music Camp in five words or less, I would say it's a very supportive, engaging, and enlightening. Creative melting pot. I would describe it as where passions become reality. 